Senator Neil O'Donnell. Uh, Cahirly, and actually, uh, strangely enough, I too want to talk about uh, an ex-British soldier. Uh, I'm sure the acting leader will be, uh, as a political animal that he is, he'll be all too familiar uh, with Harry Leslie Smith, uh, who finds himself gravely ill uh, in hospital in Canada at the moment. For colleagues who don't know, uh, and I'm sure they're in the minority if they don't, uh, Harry uh, was born in 1923 uh, in abject poverty uh, in a time before uh, the NHS uh, in England. Uh, he fought uh, in the Second World War as an RAF uh, pilot, but even in this advanced uh, stage in his life, in his 90s, he has been the most active uh, of activists uh, in terms of uh, international solidarity and social justice, uh, supporting uh, the plight uh, of refugees all around the world, uh, even going out to visit uh, the refugees, but also to take on the culture and the ideology uh, that tries to prohibit and stop uh, these uh, poor, unfortunate people uh, from travelling for sanctuary uh, and safety wherever in the world uh, they may be. Uh, I became familiar with him uh, via Twitter because even uh, in his 90s he was uh, vocal uh, as he could be in relation to the uh, rising tide of fascism in uh, Europe, also uh, in North America, and much like uh, in his 20s he was still prepared at this stage in his life uh, to take uh, a stand uh, against it now and encourage all of us to take a stand uh, against it uh, as well. Say he's gravely ill in Canada. Uh, he was just about to uh, take part in another uh, visit to uh, uh, refugee uh, camps, and unfortunately, his son John is now conveying uh, using Harry's Twitter to tell us uh, about the day-to-day -day, uh, situation they find themselves in uh, as a family. In particular, uh, Cahirlock, uh, Harry Leslie Smith uh, has been a champion uh, for the NHS uh, in Britain. He is someone who has alerted uh, the British people to the impending destruction and dismantling of, of that most priceless and that most inspiring uh, creation uh, of the British uh, state and the British people. Um, and the strange thing in it all is that Harry's Twitter, uh, he, his Twitter name is Harry's Last Stand. Um, I'm sure this isn't Harry's Last Stand because I think we should all uh, follow his example and take that stand for what he believes in what he stood for, his principles, uh, and his approach uh, to life. Margaret. Uh